If you're not getting the views that you think you should be getting on your YouTube videos, even after putting in a lot of effort to create great content. If YouTube is not recommending your videos, then it is a result of some settings that you have not enabled in your YouTube studio. These are the settings that I myself, I wish I knew when I was actually beginning my channel. In today's video, I'm going to take you through and show you which settings that you have to check and see whether they are enabled and how to enable them, how to turn these settings on. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back for another video. If this is your first time to be on my channel, you're most welcome. My name is Ben, and on this channel, I create videos about tools, tips, and strategies on how to grow on YouTube. So if you're interested to watch such videos, just subscribe right now and don't forget to turn on notifications so that every time I upload you get notified. Alright, without wasting any time, let's get started. Now, the first thing you do, you go to your browser using your smartphone or your computer and you type in studio.youtube.com. Now, once you are in your YouTube Studio dashboard, you go straight to settings right here. Under settings, you go to channel. And then you go straight to future eligibility first. Okay? Now you have to make sure that under future eligibility, all of the three settings are enabled. Standard features enabled. Intermediate features enabled. Advanced features enabled. You have to make sure that all of these features are enabled. And if they are not enabled, you'll follow the steps and enable all of the three features. Now, once you're done enabling this, you go to Basic Info right here, okay? Now, under Basic Info, you'll find out keywords. Now, this part is so important. YouTube will not recommend your videos if you don't use this part very well. This is how you have to use these keywords. You have to first know what is your niche. For example, my niche is YouTube Growth Tips and editing tutorials. So after knowing your niche, you have to find the right keywords under your niche. For example, the right keywords under my niche are YouTube growth, how to grow on YouTube, increase YouTube subscribers, YouTube algorithm tips, YouTube SEO, and more as you see. I have more keywords. And when we go to editing tutorials, I have video color grading right here. I have beginner video editing and so on. All right, you don't stop there. You have to include your competitors in your keywords. Your competitors that are doing better than you, your big competitors. For example, TubeBuddy, VidIQ. These are my competitors and they are doing well. The people that are doing my same niche that I'm doing. And you have to make sure that those people are doing better, okay? So TubeBuddy and VidIQ are doing very better. You don't stop there. You also include your channel name. Now, the reason why you have to put these keywords, it is to categorize your niche, okay? You have to make sure that you categorize your niche for the YouTube algorithm to know which kind of videos you make and which kind of audience do you really need, okay? so that it can recommend your videos to the right audience. And the reason why you put your competitors in your keywords, it is to let the YouTube algorithm know which kind of people make the same videos as you do. And once YouTube knows which kind of people make the same content as you do, it will begin to recommend your content to the audience of those people that make the same content as you do. And when YouTube recommends your videos to the audience of your competitors, you'll have more chances of those people watching your videos because they're interested in that niche that you make, both you and your competitors. And that is the science of recommendation. Now, if you don't know how to find the proper keywords for your channel, you can use ChatGBT. All right, this is GBT, and this is how you do it. Let me assume I make videos about cooking. So, I'll ask Channel GBT to write keywords for my YouTube channel that makes videos about cooking. Now, after telling this AI to write keywords for my YouTube channel that makes videos about cooking, these are the keywords that it has generated for me. Easy recipes, home cooking, quick meals, cooking tips, health recipes, and more. 
Now, once GPT writes these keywords for you, you copy one by one like this, and then you go back to YouTube Studio and paste. You paste one by one, and this is how you paste them. So you come to this interface of keywords and paste the keyword that you copied from GPT. Now, once you're done pasting the keyword, you have to make sure that you add a comma. When you read down here, enter comma separated values so you click on the keyword that you just pasted from channel gpt and then you highlight it and you add a comma and once you add a comma it will just save automatically you have to make sure that you add commas to every keyword that you add on this interface now once you're done adding the keywords we go to the next setting which is found at advanced setting right here. With this setting, it is so important as well. Now, under advanced settings, you check this specific feature. Do you want to set your channel as made for kids? You have to make sure that you click on no. Set this channel as not made for kids. You click or you check this middle section or this middle feature. And once you're done setting this, you head to upload defaults now under upload defaults you head to advanced settings and under advanced settings category now with category the default category for youtube it is always here at people and vlogs if you upload your video for the first time on youtube your video will be marked as people and blogs even though it is a music video even though it is a sports video, gaming video, YouTube will set it as people and blogs. So you have to come here and change the default category for your videos. For example, if you make gaming videos, you have to choose gaming. If you make vlogs, you have to choose entertainment. If you make sports, you have to choose sports. And once you set your default category from here, you not need to change categories every time you're uploading your videos. Now, once you're done turning on all of those settings, you can now save. And once you're done saving, you open a new browser and now you search for YouTube Stroke Verify. And then you click on this website right here. Now, you have to make sure that the next screen appears like this. And this has to come next to prove that your channel is verified. If you found this video helpful, please like it. Leave a like on this video so that YouTube can recommend this video to more small YouTubers out there because they need this kind of help. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Check out this video and learn how to gain watch hours if you really want to monetize your channel. I gained over 3,600 watch hours in a period of 7 hours. Not 7 days, but in a period of 7 hours. And you can literally do that. You can gain that kind of watch hours after watching that video. Alright, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.